Welcome back to the Birdies and Bourbon Show, and happy holidays, everybody. Thanks for sticking with us through this year. It's uh, It's been a great one. Looking forward to spending time with friends, family. Maybe I'm going to go to Sweetens and uh, maybe the ugly sweater. I don't know. It could be in the cards. We'll see how that goes. Um, thought I would jump on and drop a quick shopping list. Uh, or some some items that you may or may not want to get for someone you like, you don't like, you need to like. I, I don't know. You, you pick it. You pick it however you like it. And the first thing is, what about a snoot glass? This, uh, you don't have to get the logo. You can get one without a logo, but this goes great in a golf bag. It holds whiskey just fine and you know if you're a glen karen person or you're drinking out of a tasting glass this is an alternative that's not gonna screw you over man you you drop this i mean i've dropped it plenty of times uh it made a trip with me to band of dunes recently and it this baby is intact and the whiskey tastes great mm. Speaking of, and I, uh, these are like logoed. I think they're around 40 bucks. Uh, you can try to find some other ones, but uh, I don't know. They're all about the same price. Uh, what's in the glass? If you've listened to the show, if you've ever heard me, if you've ever asked me what bottle of bourbon should I buy, the first thing and last thing out of my mouth is wild turkey, rare breed. It's 116.8 proof. And I, I don't know what to say other than it's, uh, it, it, it might be the perfect bourbon, whiskey, bourbon. It is a bourbon. So I guess I'll call it a bourbon. Uh, it's, it's barrel proof. It's, uh, it's, it's got a little bit of that turkey funk. Um, it, there's, some, there's caramel. There's vanilla. There, there's everything you're looking for in a bourbon. And I don't know, it's going to be less, should be around, you know, less than 60 bucks, call it 50, $60, whatever, whatever it is. And um, yeah, I mean, going to a party, you don't know what bottle to buy, get this bottle. Need to give somebody a gift, uh, your boss, colleague, somebody that works for you, you want to get them a bottle of bourbon, get this. Uh, it drinks a hell of a lot better than the price point. And you will not be disappointed. And uh, if, if you are, the, send me a note. Send me a note. Birdies underscore bourbon on Instagram. And uh, I'll buy the bottle from you. As long as it's really a wild turkey rare breed and you didn't spit in it or piss in it or anything like that. Uh, all right. Next on the list. What are we going to go for next? Uh, I'm going to go for some of this wild turkey in the snoot glass. Mm. All right. Here you go. For the cocktail aficionado. Uh, yes, you will. What about the Fog Hat Cocktail Smoker? By the way, when you order the Fog Hat Cocktail Smoker, you also get a Fog Hat Cocktail Torch. Uh, so the way it works, I'm not going to smoke a cocktail. I guess I should smoke a cocktail at some point, but the way it works, you light it up. You uh, you put the wood chips in there. Ooh, you get a little, get a little smoke off, a little smoke off that baby. Um, yeah, I mean it's uh, it, it's a great addition to a bar. It's perfect if you're into I don't know maybe a bacon fat washed old fashioned maple old fashioned smoked. Could be a thing. May have had a few of those the other night on the Chasing Daylight podcast. I may not have had. A few of those. I may have had a lot more than a few of those. Just saying. Just saying. But yeah, the Fog Hat cocktail smoker. Fantastic. Uh, I love it. And I, I've actually got two. Just in, I don't know why. I just have two, just in case. Uh, what's next? Uh, okay. So for for the bourbon, um, for the if you know somebody that's looking into tasting whiskey and and they want to get that you know it's like I don't know I don't know what it tastes like I don't know I, like I, I need to I need to accentuate it's probably not even the right word but uh, I I need to grow my palate needs to expand how do I expand my palate well here's exactly how you expand it you expand it with 
knows your bourbon, the bourbon nosing kit. It's exactly how you do it. Uh, had these folks on the show, I don't know, maybe two years ago at this point, but uh, they're, they're doing great stuff over there. I'll try to open this up. I'll try to show you what's going on in here without dumping shit all over the place, but I don't know if it's going to eh, work out okay. All right. So yeah, peanut, oak, cherry, allspice, clove, honey, mint, chocolate, brown sugar. And again, the idea is, uh, what do I get most out of this uh, rare breed? I get, I get leather, right? So I'm going to go into this rare breed and I'm going to taste and I'm going to pop open this, um, this leather, leather pouch. It may or may not work. Yeah, whatever. And uh, canister. Definitely leather. I mean, I already know. It. I mean, I can get tobacco out of this. I got vanilla. I got brown sugar. Uh, what else is in there? Uh, I got some oak coming out of this thing. So, uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool gift. Uh, I don't know. I mean, this is one of those things that, I don't know, you're going to run out and buy one. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, if you gifted it to somebody, it's fun. Have some people over, pour, uh, break out some bottles and start nosing and see what you, uh, see what you, what you smell and then see what you taste. I got one more thing for you. At first, I got a little drink. It is the holidays, by the way. What's wrong with all the holiday cheer? Mm. That is so good. So good. So good. Okay. So this is this is a uh, this is this is a game changer for me. Game changer. I don't know how many flasks I've owned over the years. Several. Let's call it uh, let's call it three. I mean, that's like probably 33, maybe even more. I probably have 33 over here back here in a drawer. Everything that I've owned up until I met these folks, it's a it's it's some kind of a metal flask, right? It's it, it's copper, it's stainless. Uh, I think that's probably all that I've ever had is maybe a copper and a stainless. I think, I don't know, speculating. Um, game changer, right here. The folks at Rag Proper. Um, now granted, they're not the only folks that are making a glass flask, but wait, wait until you see what I got, because these guys, uh, they're, they're doing it right. Uh, we had the, we had these folks on the show a little while back and, uh, great, great folks doing great stuff, making a great product. You, if you ever see them on a golf course and you ask for a drink of whiskey, it's likely going to be rare breed. And it is also likely going to be served up in a rag proper flask. So you can see this one's got a little weather to it. Uh, it's, uh, you know, I mean, it's not abused, but, uh, but I mean, I just throw it in the bag, man. And it, and, it, and it's glass. I don't know. It's glass. So, I mean, I, I know you've done it. You've, uh, you've gone back to your golf bag after a few weeks and you left that flask in there and it was half full of whiskey and you took a drink and you're like, gosh, oh, tastes like shit. Tastes like metal. Doesn't happen with rag proper. That, that is not a thing. Speaking of game changer, rag proper has upped the game. I mean, no shit. We've got logoed rag proper flasks i mean who wouldn't want that for christmas who would i i don't i mean i would i kind of got it for christmas i guess i got it before christmas so i'm gonna maybe gift it to my the, i'm gonna gift this one to myself i've got a few more that uh we're gonna we're gonna distribute accordingly um but yeah you looking for a gift go get uh get get your gifty Get them a rag proper glass flask. It's fantastic. I mean, it really doesn't get, I should have filled, I don't know why I didn't put a liquor in there. I, I could be drink. <laughs> nothing in there. Um, okay, so that's what I got. That's the shopping list. And uh, I think everything that I talked about probably is under, it's definitely under $70, 
probably under 60 and I would say the price point is around 50 with a uh, 10% plus or minus. And I don't know that anybody, well, let me say this. I'm not a good golfer. I'm also not a good drinker and I'm not a professional at anything, but any of the gifts that I just talked about, I would be extremely, extremely happy receiving those. And if you, if you, if you walked in and you came over to the house and we were having a holiday party, we we're having a tasting and you gifted one of those items to me, good on you. Happy holidays and cheers.